Hey gang, welcome to your 18th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to walk you through view files and the root component. Okay, so in the last tutorial we used the Vue CLI to create this brand new project right here. And I said all the meaty stuff was in this source folder. So when we run this in a browser, we see this. This is kind of like the baseline project that Vue.js provides us with when we install a project using the view CLI. Now this is just to show you how things work basically. So all this stuff in the source folder, this meaty stuff is what we're gonna be editing throughout most of this series. And the rest of this, we can just kind of leave as is, right? So first of all, we have this assets folder right here, which contains a logo in it at the minute, just an image. So any kind of images that we wanna use, we can place in this assets folder and reference them later on. Secondly, we have this main.js file. Now this is the file that kicks in when we run this application. So this kind of controls everything from the start. So first of all, we have these two import statements at the top. Now we can have these because we can now use ES6 syntax, so new JavaScript, such as this import statement. So we can use these ES6 features because we have this Webpack setup, which is using Babel somewhere along the line to transpile ES6 code into vanilla JavaScript, which is readily understandable in browsers. Okay, so we're importing the view library, first of all, which means we can use view in this file. And then secondly, we're importing this app from app.view. Now this app is this thing right here on the left, and I'm gonna go through that in a second. But basically what we're doing is creating a new view instance, just like we've done from the beginning. So this new view instance is looking for this thing right here, this app, right? And if we go to the index file, this is the file which is served up by the server initially, okay? And you can see that right here, this app ID. So this main.js is creating a view instance now, which is gonna control this entire section here. And the way this works is that all of our application code is gonna eventually be output in between these two things here. They don't have to be, you can output whatever static content you want outside of this, but all of our kind of view code is gonna be rendered in here, our view template code, right? So basically we have this initial view instance right here, right? And what we're doing is rendering some content. Now this render we've not seen yet. So when we're working like this with different view files, which I'm gonna go through in a second, we tend to use this approach where we use this render method right here and you don't really need to understand what this h to h fat arrow function is. Um, basically, all this is doing is taking our root component right here, this app, which we import right here. So this is the root component that it's importing. And what it's doing is it's rendering this to this, right? So this right here, this app.view, this is our root component. And I'm gonna go through all of this in a second. But just understand this is our root component, the co component that lives at the very top of our application. And we're gonna be able to nest components later on in the series. And I'm gonna go through that in the next tutorial. But understand for now, this is the very top kind of parent root component, right? So all of this template right here, all of this code, right? And this functionality here, the root component, all of this is being rendered now because we say in the main.js, render all of this app we render all of that template in the index right here, okay? So, once again, we've got this root view instance here, which is controlling the app. Then we're rendering this root component, this app.view, which we import right here. We're importing this app.view, and we're rendering that root component right here to this thing here in the index.html file, okay? So that is why when we view it in a browser, we see all of that HTML from the view file, from that root component, we see it in the index file, right? So all of this here, not all of this, sorry, all of this here. Cool. So this root component, this is a view file. And as we go further into this series, we're gonna create various different view files, okay? And they'll sit within this root component. But basically a view file is just an extension of a component. And remember, we talked about components a few tutorials ago where we can create reusable template and functionality code which can be used in different parts of an application, right? That's all this is except this time, this component has its own file and that is a view file, it's .view, 
Okay, so this is called app.view. So this root component has a template right here. And when we registered components previously, we added that as a property, something like this, if we say like view.components, and then, you know, the name, and then we took an object, we said template, and then we passed in some HTML code in here like this. This is the same kind of thing, except this time, what we're doing is we have our template here in template tags at the top of this component file, this view file, okay? So this is where we create our template for this component. So this is all HTML, and inside this template, we can access data from this object. So this is the component as well. So this is in a script tag, right? Because this is a view file, not a script file, a JS file. We have to add a script tag, and what we're doing is exporting an object. So what we're doing now is exporting this object, and this object right here kind of represents that object that we passed through when we created a new component in here a minute ago, when we said view.component, and then the second parameter was an object. That is this thing right here, okay? So we have a couple more things on here. We have the name right here. This name is the name of the component. And later on when we start nesting components, we're gonna use this a bit more. We also have this data right here. Now remember, I said when we use components, we have to use a function for data. But I didn't write it like this. I did something like this. Data is a function like that, okay? Now this right here is exactly the same thing. This is ES6 code in action. So instead of writing data colon function, we can just do data with the parentheses on and that is exactly the same. So again, we're returning our data object right here like this. And then finally, we have this style tag and this controls the style, the CSS of this component right here, okay? So just to kind of demonstrate what we can do here, I'm just gonna delete a lot of this out because we don't want the default kind of content they provide us with. We wanna make our own content, right? So let's delete all that crap. And also I will delete this message right here. We don't want a message. Um, the name, we don't need just yet. So we can delete that as well. Uh, I wanna keep this as simple as possible. And up here, what I wanna do is get rid of all of this. We don't need to really give this an ID of app either. So we can just have a div. Now in a template, we do have to have a single element surrounding the whole thing. So we can't write div and then another div down here with something else in it. This won't work, right? We have to have everything within one kind of root element. So we have our div. Now let's create a h1 and we're gonna output a title in there. We've not created this just yet. Underneath the h1, let's have a p tag. And then in here, we're gonna have a method which is gonna be a greeting. So we're doing the same kind of stuff as we did in the earlier tutorials when we didn't have this development workflow and using this, uh, the view CLI, but we're now we're just doing it in a separate view file, okay, a separate component file. But all the behavior is still the same. So we have our title, which we can add in the data right here. So I'm gonna say title, and this is gonna be your first view file. Woo, okay. And then we want a method as well. So we'll come after the data right here and we'll say methods. And this is gonna take an object and in here we need a method called greeting. And this is gonna be a function. Inside this function, I want to greet. So I'm just gonna say return and a string, something we can output here in between the p tags. And I'm gonna say, hey, cowboy, okay. So that is what we're returning there. Just gonna scoot this in a little bit. And if we save this now and view it in a browser, we can now see your first view file. Woo, hey cowboy. So this is now working, very cool. So we have created our first view file, which is the root component, which is outputting then to the browser because we're importing this root component into this main.js file, which fires up to begin with and we're rendering this root app component right here to this app ID, which is in the index file. So I implore you to take a few minutes just to kind of wander around these files, see where all the moving parts are going, like I've explained, just get your head around it before you move on to the next tutorial.